When Tesla first started making electric cars, people were extremely skeptical. Big companies like Ford, GM, and Tesla short sellers were constantly laughing at Tesla. Wall Street and the finance media were slamming on Tesla, talking about how it's just a company that just keeps on burning cash, keeps on lending money to make all these terrible cars. Fast forward to now and the finance media is praising Tesla stock as one of the best stocks in the whole market right now. All these big automakers like BMW, GM and Ford, they're all trying their best to catch up to Tesla's technology. So we're going to take a look at Tesla's new competition, how they stand against Tesla and whether they will sell well. Let's get started. BMW i3 and i8 weren't enough to beat Tesla, so now here they are creating the next BMW i4. Supposedly coming in 2021, the BMW i4 EV will be BMW's competitor to the Tesla Model 3. The BMW i4 will be powered by an 80 kilowatt hour battery, producing 390 kilowatts or 530 horsepower. Accelerating 0 to 60 will take around 4 seconds, and its top speed will be a mere 120 miles an hour. This will be powered by BMW's new Generation 5 battery packs, significantly smaller than the Generation 3 and 4 packs using the EVs right now. Supposedly a huge upgrade from the i3, the total driving range is estimated to be 373 miles. So does this stand against Tesla? No. The price tag is estimated to be $70,000, so it really can't compare with the Model 3, a much cheaper vehicle with around a similar range. Despite all these huge promises, it doesn't seem like this vehicle will be able to beat Tesla, so let's move on to the next car. Supposedly a competitor of the Model Y, this is the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now very very similar to Tesla, Ford has different versions that cost different amounts of money. Let's start with the base model that Ford calls the Select model. This costs $43,895 and has a range of 230 miles. It's 0-60 to sits at 6 or 7 seconds. Oh boy, that's an awful car. The AWD version, a second quicker and more expensive car, has an estimated 210 miles on full battery. Both these versions can charge up to 115 kilowatts an hour at DC fast charging stations, while the rest of the Mach E variants will charge at up to 150 kilowatts an hour. The premium version of this car costs $50,600 and starts shipping late 2020. This car will have a 98 kilowatt battery which Ford calls the Extended Range Pack. This version has 270 miles with the AWD quicker version and 300 miles with the Extended Range version. Compared to the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y, much cheaper cars, these ranges are horrible and it won't be a surprise when this car does not sell well. Time to welcome this late entry Mini Cooper into the electric vehicle lineup. This Cooper SE has a 32.6 kilowatt battery pack a single electric motor that produces 181 horsepower and 199 pounds of torque. This car has a 0-60 of acclaimed 7.3 seconds and has a top speed of only 93 miles an hour. In Europe, the SC will have a range of 146 to 168 miles, but US EPA figures aren't announced yet. The price of this car is estimated to be around $30,000, but with the federal tax credit of $7,500, we could see this price decrease significantly after all the tax credit. This car is supposedly going to start production by March 2020, so very soon we'll see this on the road. We're yet to see Tesla's compact car or cheaper version of the Model 3, so we can't really compare this car to any of Tesla's cars. The range doesn't seem like it's too great compared to other competitors like the Nissan Leaf. So is this really an electric vehicle disruptor? As of right now, it doesn't seem like the specs of the Mini Cooper are good enough to beat any other electric vehicles that aren't even Tesla. So here we got an entry from Volvo with the Volvo XC40 Recharge. This is equipped with a 78 kilowatt hour battery that can travel 248 miles in a single charge according to WLTP. The vehicle's motor is equivalent to 408 horsepower and has 442 pounds of torque allowing the vehicle to go from 0 to 60 in just 4.8 seconds. The battery charges to 80% of its capacity in just 40 minutes on its fast charger system. The car is expected to get into production by late 2020 and will cost a massive $55,000. So again, not a competitor of Tesla, 
when we're comparing the Tesla Model 3 to this Volvo XC40 Recharge. So I don't see this as a competitor to Tesla. Now this is the Rivian R1T. This beautiful truck debuted in 2018 in the Los Angeles Auto Show and offers three different powertrain options. The base model has 402 horsepower, 413 pounds of torque, and a 105 kilowatt hour battery capacity offering a driving range of over 230 miles. Now the middle step, a much more impressive version, has a 754 horsepower, 826 pounds of torque, and a 135 kilowatt hour battery with a range of over 300 miles. The range topping version has a slightly less power at 700 horsepower, 826 pounds of torque, but a battery pack of 180 kilowatt hours and a range of over 400 miles. Rivian is taking pre-orders right now and plans to offer the R1T for prices starting at $69,000 before tax credit. This should start production in 2020. Now this car is definitely a competitor of the Cybertruck. I can't see this beating the Cybertruck because one, Rivian doesn't have its production factories up and ready. Two, its specs are simply just worse for the Cybertruck at each different price level. And three, its price tag is just too high and it doesn't have the same marketing as Tesla has with the Cybertruck. Soon we're going to see all this new competition coming into the EV market and it's going to be exciting to see if anyone can stand a chance against Tesla. All these new cars are coming to the market and it's a good thing for Tesla, it's a good thing for other car companies. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see any more videos like this. I hope to see you in another video.